We have the latest developments for you now on President Trump's decision to withdraw U.S. troops from northern Syria. Turkish forces are moving into position along the Syrian border after American soldiers withdrew from the area. Turkey is expected to mount an offensive against the Kurdish population there. For years, the Kurds have fought ISIS alongside U.S. troops. In a statement, Kurdish leaders called President Trump's decision to pull out, quote, tragic. The, pre the president defends the decision as a step toward getting the country out of what he calls the endless wars. But the White House is getting pushback from both parties. He has demonstrated once again uh, to the world and to our allies that we are not a trusted ally. And for him to give carte blanche uh, to the Turks, who have made very clear what their intentions are, is beyond the pale. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Republican, issued a statement warning that a sudden withdrawal would only benefit Russia, Iran, and the Assad regime. And Republican Senator Lindsey Graham is planning to introduce a bill that would impose new sanctions on Turkey if it invades Syrian territory. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us now in studio. Do you agree with Senator McConnell that a southern withdrawal would benefit Iran, Russia, and the Assad regime? Absolutely. That's just common sense. They want to see this happen. Now, we have a pretty good relationship, you could say, with Turkey. What does Turkey gain by an all-out invasion into Syria? Turkey is concerned that the, the Kurds uh, would take part of the footprint of Turkey itself, as well as the surrounding countries, to establish Kurdistan. And I think that's the major concern that Turkey has. It won't allow to have. They consider them to be rebels, and they consider them to be terrorists. Now, the president has threatened to destroy Turkey's economy if they invade Syria. Kurdish forces, uh, they were key allies in the fighting with uh, ISIS. Is this the right time to be pulling some troops out? It's the right thing to do, wrong time. Uh, the United States has been supporting the Kurds, and the Kurds have been supporting the United States. They are our only ally in that entire region to fight the ISIS uh, threat in that region. And I think without them, we'd still be fighting ISIS. Well, you know, General, people will say, okay, it's never the right time. What, what is the right time to pull out? Now, I think it's important to understand, for us, a year is a long time. For that culture, a thousand years is a very short time. There is no right time, there is no right thing to do, except I can tell you, in my opinion, the right thing to do is yes, we need to move troops out of there. It's the wrong time because of all the threats that are taking place, and an open threat by Turkey to go into Syria and take out the Kurds. And Turkey's benefit is they could they get that region that they want? Well, they take out the threat of having any terrorists anywhere near them. President Trump has said ISIS is defeated. How do we know that? I don't believe that is the case. I think uh, what we're seeing is uh, we have 10,000 ISIS fighters in prison in Syria. Uh, if those gates were open, we'd see the ISIS threat all over again. I don't believe that ISIS is defeated. I believe that they're being held in abeyance right now. All right, General, as always, thank you for your thoughts.